Hello, and today I'm going to talk about Drupal with um community as a community platform. Now, a lot a lot of people use Drupal for their community websites, and that's good because that's what Drupal is really good at. That's what I use for the Tom Tom Dash dot com, as you all know. Today, I'm, I'm going to show you. A module that helps you improve your Drupal forums. As you see, I kind of did the standard form setup there, and I did some custom styling. But um, basically, the standard setup, and there are the categories, and they've got the description. And if we go and look at any of the posts, they're not. They're not very conventional because their nodes, there's, the, there's no place to post or apply. And if we compare it to the layout of one of my favourite forums, it's certainly very different. Um, so you're maybe going to want to force this layout full screen. And there's not much interaction with other users on the site, which is what... Um, uh, community websites are all about. So today I'm going to have to use a module called Advanced Forum Module to kind of get some of that fun functionality. Now, there's, before I dive into this, there's one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, a lot of people think that when you think of CMS, there should, there should just be be able to enable for a module have some great forums and well that's all fine and dandy and I, I've done that in s some systems before but kind of the Drupal mentality is you put several modules together and that kind of um gives you a more solid experience for example you don't use advanced forum module for the profiles you use the profile module and you use the five star module to rate posts it's not all dependent on the forum module so what that's the mentality that you have to grasp if you're going to use Drupal it's not all about one module it's the rest we have different modules so let me talk about what we're going to use Today we're going to use profile module and um, and forum module. Those are the bare bones for what we want to do, and they're both core modules. That is what is going to allow us to create. this that's what you see here right I mean I've done some custom styling but basically that's the core of the fact so let's go ahead and make that look a bit more conventional using um form module advanced form module so as you see I've already uploaded it to my server um So let's go ahead and log into the site and see how we're going to do this. Now, I first wanted to talk about the fact that I want to try and get some more people using that site because it's not very li live, lively at the moment, and I just really appreciate some more people using it. And this is the login form. Again, I'm doing improvements to this quite regularly so it's definitely worth checking it out so if we go into the admin area in the modules section and we should see it there now let me first highlight I've never used this version of this module because it's still an alpha and on the advanced forum page they give you some guidelines about which version to use. So I've just done as they recommended. Um 
but you may want to be careful. Um, so just to show you, I've got four module enabled. Four module and profile module. So let's just enable the advanced form module. And um, we'll see what we get. Advanced form module only gives you a few basic options. And that's really what Drupal's all about, as I was saying, because the Drupal mentality is that you don't leave one module to do all the work. And I think that's really good. And um, so if we go down here, we see the advanced forum options. Now, a lot of this is going to be styled in the CSS. So this is a module overview really. Um, and I'm just going to show you some of the options you can use. First of all we've got the style I want to use so these are some really common things to use. Um, image directory where you want users to upload all their images use graphical buttons for links uh this is key um and there's all i wouldn't recommend taking that box because then you'll get all sorts of weird stuff uh you want to do that and you want to use topic navigation but really the key point is the, the the theme that you want to select now this this is new in this new version but you're probably going to do some CSS stuff just to clarify the naked theme that it comes with is no styling and and that's probably really good um uh so if we save that and go to back to the forum we get a lot more conventional forum and it shows us where all the bits are and we get these nice buttons that are images and we see online users down at the bottom there and we have an option to post post or apply and post a new topic so all in all it's good and it comes up it comes up with a um option to post and you can change that post in your comment to post reply but as you can see it um really converts it to a much more nicer layout Let's look at some of the other themes that you can get real quick. Just to show that this is indeed running from Advanced Form Module. Um, so if we put it on the boxy, see again you can play around with the options in here and you're probably going to want to make your custom template in regards to your site. That one that we just tried out though looks nice and appropriate for mine. I mean I I could do some CSS stunning 
to make it a little bit better. But there's just a boxy version which would fit nice and white with mine. So you still get the same buttons. And shows you what topics are new. So thanks for watching this video. What we've basically done is al allowed ourselves to make make another forum using the advanced forum module. And um, what this is gonna do is in turn make it better for our users. So hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and go over to my website www.tom-rogers.com to find out which skin I've decided to use. Thanks for watching.